what up boys welcome back hope you guys are having a great day or a great night i made a poll for you guys to vote which build you want to see next i had the warped swords the grand lance the uh, curved dragon greatsword and the king's ultra greatsword so out of all of those the curved dragon greatsword got the most votes so that's what we're getting into today never done a playthrough with it before so i'm really curious how it's going to perform from what i heard in the comments uh, you guys said it was really strong and it was really good so uh, i'm really excited to try it out can't wait to see what it's like on the bosses for the other ones that people voted for i'll get to those eventually of course like i say in all my videos i'll get to all of them eventually but yeah let's get right into this the curved dragon greatsword that is quite a process to get but i don't have to kill all the great lords i can just uh, i just need a million souls to go to shrine of winter and then i can progress through there and get the ash and missed heart once i get that we'll be good to go and i'm going to be using the mirror combo in the meantime which requires 20 strength and 20 dexterity so i think the best bet once again is just a warrior and we'll go with an ascetic i have to kill uh scorpionist nachka and congregation to get to uh weapon smith horn effects because she's the one that trades uh, the curved dragon greatsword and she also sells the merc combo so it kind of works out in my favor so i'm gonna head towards her right away of course uh try to get that as soon as possible so because i need a lot of souls to go to shrine of winter a million souls in specific uh Malin, you gotta go because i need those souls to go to shrine of winter you know what i feel loki bad we'll let him kill us once <laughs> oh my lord look at him looking into the sunset he's like finally <laughs> Someone mentioned in the comments that I should let Malin kill me at least a couple of times because of all the times I've killed him. Honestly, that's fair enough. Oh yeah, buddy. All right, give me that set. Thank you. Make my way to Dragon Rider, get some souls. Uh, also to go to No Man's Wharf to get some uh, Tiny Shards and a Fragment Branch of Yor, which I'll use to go to Shaded Ruins. You are not wiping me off this planet. Not this time. Oh. Oh. Sh oh. <laughs> that was a little weird, but we got him. And I'm gonna kill Lissy, of course, because I really don't need her. And it's a tradition, so I have to. Like, it just feels wrong if I don't kill her or Malin or Dragon Rider. All right, pick up the chest. Tan Eye Shard. Nice. Oh, the bandit axe, huh? I'm going to use that ass against you. This thing's actually pretty crazy. Let me try this shit out. Come here, homie. Oh, it's a two hit. This thing's crazy. Large Silver Proud Knight. Silver Proud Knight. Watch this roll. Ready? Time up. Per Boom. There we go. That's how you do it without getting poisoned, baby. Open up the chest. Bling, blau. Frank and of Europe. Beautiful. Kill this lizard. I need the shards. Nice. Lovely. Two Tan Eye Shards. Large Tan Eye Shard. I still don't know what I want to use in the meantime to kill Scorpionist Nachka and Congregation. It's not that big of a deal. It's just two bosses. And then I can pick up the Murakumo. 20 strength, 20 dexterity for the Murakumo. So I'll get that ready right now. Talk to my sweetie. I'll get the key, one bright bug, two fire bombs, 10 life gems. And talk to her, get the ring. Nice. One shot his ass, plus two. There we go. I'll get the engraved Gauntlet's quest going as well. Why not? I feel like that might be nice with the weapon. So also pick up some more Matikus. Hell yeah. Who are you? Where are you going? Are you going for a lap? What the shit? Oh, he went to go help them out and beating the giant tree. This guy ran around the whole map just to go there and beat the statue. Oh, that dude fell down again, bro. <laughs> Deja vu. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Give me that house key and let me get out of here, bro. Thank you. Break into his crib. Pick up this Pharaoh's Lockstone. Yeah, put the Pharaoh's Lockstone in here. Pause. Open up this bitch and then open up the chest. And there it is, Tanite Slab, so we can use that on the Murakumo. I'll just pick this up in the meantime, because might as well. Corinthy Ring, until we get the plus one version. All right, I think I'll just use this in the meantime. We'll pick that bad boy up and reinforce that. Plus three, I want to save that large Tanite Shard for the Murakumo. And I'm going to head to Shaded Ruins. All right, so free up the lady and get ready for the grand premiere of Bugsy. Get your ass in here, big boy. Oh, there he goes. Oh, my lord, you jumped over. How the hell did you do that, bro? He's acquiring new skills by the day. Yo, he did a backstab attack. What the hell? I've never seen that in my life. Okay, it's something new. Uh, you gotta go, homie. Push this guy out the way. Get a soul overpowered knight. Soul number two. All right, definitely pick up the RTSR ring. All right, soul number three. All right, soul number four. Soul number five. Soul number six. Open up this bad boy. Chlorine the ring plus one. All right, soul number seven. Soul number eight. Open up the chest. Get a tiny chunk and a petrified dragon bone. Once again, I need 15 of these to reinforce the curved uh, dragon greatsword. All right, soul number nine. Can I kill this lizard? I don't know. Hell yeah, nice. So two tiny shards and a tiny chunk. Beautiful. And a bolt stone. I don't even know if the curved dragon gray sword is infusible or not, so we're going to find out later. I have a feeling it won't be, but we'll see. And all right, soul number 10. And we'll go ahead and talk to the dude in the dark, creepy old Professor Xavier, and get his quest going for the dark lurker. Yeah, so we'll come back for weapon smith horn effects. So I'm going to go back to the gutter, pick up a fragment bench of Yor over there, and then we can free up this dude, get the fan key, and free up weapon smith horn effects. Buy the cat ring. Right, we're chilling. Nice. Tanite shard, large tanite, and that fragment branch of your. Nice. And also pick up a tanite chunk. Your. Get 20 life gems. There it is. Second fragment branch of your. All right, free up this dude. Get the fan key. Nice. All right, open up this with the fan key. Get the fragment branch of your back as well. 
and there she is she's all freed up so we'll see her after we kill congregation i'll just pop all my souls 10 vigor 14 endurance 24 dexterity and 8 adaptability all right let's go i can deal with that might take a little bit of time granted but you know i wasn't expecting anything crazy to be honest go ahead and do your thing 21 come on oh what was that a big that was a big chunk what was that girl don't be swinging we can take it to the parking lot oh hell no she went under the water yeah buddy hit her hit her right in the titties i mean oh no little grab attack nah it's only for mitha hit that ass oh baby now bounce that ass back yeah buddy one more hit nice this weapon's all right gets the job done obviously would have done more damage at plus 10 but i do not want to waste my large 10 eye shards and my 10 eye chunks because i need those for the murakumo i could farm the lizards and the black gulch to get those uh 10 eye shards but i thought i would just skip on that not a big deal can i kill this lizard oh no i cannot come on all right i guess i'll come back for him with the murakumo i don't know if anyone has ever suggested the uh, dlc curved swords probably someone has but i don't really see it too often i guess it's not a very popular weapon but i could pick one up here in the meantime i just need three more all right boys Okay, four hits. I can deal with that. Oh, no. He's going to buff up, though. It's going to be even more. <gasps> oh, he's tanky as shit now, bro. Pop Sacred Oath. Hold up. How you get Sacred Oath this early on? You killed Velstat? Oh, I'm going to die to Congregation. This became a challenge. Come here, big boy. You're... Okay, I like the uh, moveset. It's actually very easy to hit them. Bro, you all alone. Let's go. Oh, Lord. I like that. Oh, yeah. Even though they're so easy, there's just something satisfying about fighting them. I don't know why. Anyways, I'll head up here. I'll get a bonfire aesthetic. I'm going to need that, obviously, to get a million souls to go to Shrine of Winter to farm rotten. <laughs> oh, he dropped me the, the mask. Oh, that's ugly. Disgusting. And I'm going to die old looking like shit. I'll get a Petrified Dragon Bone right here. There it is. Nice. Now we got two, I believe. Okay, there she is. Weapon Smith Orn Effects. All right, so we talk to her. Get the Murakumo. There it is. The Curved Greatsword. 20 Strength, 20 Dexterity. Yeah, buy one of those. All right, nice. Yeah, we can trade Ancient Dragon Soul for the uh, Curved Dragon Greatsword once we get that. You'll see the moveset. It's just like a scimitar, but it's just heavy as hell. Oh, that's crazy. Reinforce that baby to plus three, four, five. Nice, okay. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Three Large Titanite Shards. Perfect. Punch attack that lizard easy as hell yeah one tiny chunk and the petrified dragon bone as well gonna need that obviously now we got three kill the lizard large tiny twinkling tiny no chunks but there's a chunk right here so i'm gonna get rid of this guy let's push him off one chunk right there yeah just need one more this area has a lot of chunks pick up this three chunks one shard in the tiny slab it's actually nuts so now we got more than enough we got eight if you want there's also more right here yeah one tiny chunk i'm pretty sure on new game plus this on new game plus is like two chunks and like a slab or something or it's three chunks reinforces bad boy plus six see the damage 382 403 423 and 444 nice not bad not bad indeed buy those all right well that goes up a lot yeah hell yeah i'll just get more endurance adaptability all right looks pretty good all right let's go farm rotten psych we is not farming rotten this time we're farming dukes here for real. i bet that's a surprise let's see the damage on this bad boy oh 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 that's not bad indeed half for hp three hits i'll take that shit loki for real for real jeez the destructive sound it makes it's beautiful oh lord that's nice loki just get more dexterity for more damage yeah that's a lot more damage i'll just do that one to endurance looks good this is my old strategy by the way i would farm dukes here instead he was just a lot more fun than ron back in the day but now ron is just like so much easier but i'm doing this for a change wait does the uh petrified dragon bone oh it does respawn hold on let me pick that up petrified dragon bone over here respawns yeah and over here like i was talking about earlier now it's three chunks in a tiny slab on new game plus yeah, there it is. Soul of a hero and four pine resins. Let's go. Round two. Boom. Boom. Like that. Yeah. 15 vigor, 20 endurance, 25 strength, 50 dexterity, and 12 adaptability. Get more poison arrows. Once again, another soul of a hero and more pine resins. Yeah, it's not bad. One more R2. Nice. This is the memory we have to enter. Nothing happens because I don't have the Ash and Mist yeah, it looks all right. The only available bonfire aesthetic that I can get right now is after Skeleton Lords. My objective in all my videos is to save as many bosses as possible until I get the weapon that I desire. In this instance, it's not that big of a deal because they're not really that tough of a boss, which is also the reason why I'm not going to be going to the DLC to get the Flynn's Ring, because that would mean I have to kill Ron. And I kind of just want to save him for once. So that way I can demonstrate the damage on the weapon that I'm showcasing. Dude, this thing does damage though, Loki. Damn, three hits? Hold up, bro. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. But yeah, we'll talk to Crane in the meantime. There's one bonfire aesthetic after a Flexile Sentry, which I can get. I would rather kill Skeleton Lords than Flexile Sentry. At least I could demonstrate some damage on Flexile Sentry. This should be a one-shot. What's up, homie? 
Uh, almost. No, screw your throne. It's honestly good enough, low-key. This is going pretty well, though. This thing has some nice range, I ain't gonna lie. Alright, that's it. Easy peasy. I'm sorry. My bad if I was staring. She sells one bonfire aesthetic, so... And I'll just talk to her so she relocates back to my house. I mean, back to Majula. That's why I like farming Ron, honestly, most of the times. Because after you kill him, you can just go to the DLC and pick up a bunch of aesthetics. Fetch by a dragon bow and respawns. Yeah, we'll get an extra one. Come on. Boom. Beautiful, bro. We already have a million. Beautiful. Yo, you killed Malin too? Hold up, bro. It's not just me. It's this guy too. 28... 27, 22, yeah, that looks fine, that looks good. Once again, I'm gonna lose out on a lot of batches of Bright Bugs because I'm gonna kill Looking Glass Knight before the other Great Lords. But if you kill Looking Glass Knight, she just sells them one more time, like three of them one more time at 48,000 instead, and that's it. But it's not that big of a deal. We can get some from the DLC. And a lot of people are curious why I don't do the Bright Bug glitch. I don't know, it's because it's a glitch. I could glitch my way to get the Ash and Mist and Heart maybe before I kill any of the bosses, but it's just it's just not my play style. And let's take out twin bitches hopping off a of jet ski. All right, come on. Show me some good damage. Oh, I can deal with that. Oh, oh, oh. see, that's good enough, bro. I don't need no flins ring. RTSR, so what's up, homie? Come on, bro. No balls. Oh, put your shield down. You're dead. Put your shield up. You're still dead. <laughs> don't matter. Unintentional RTSR paid off. Who's this? Can I smash? I mean, hell, never mind. Never mind. Oh, I got adaptability, homie. What's the guy doing? Trying to escape the fog? There it is. Oh, yeah. One more hit. Oh, lovely. Easy enough, bro. I'll get more aesthetics in case I need them. Three of them. Maybe power sensing these would have been the way. I'm kind of feeling like power sensing. I don't know why I didn't decide to do that in the beginning, but... Oh, there's one right there. Nice. Oh, another one. Hell yeah, brother. Nice. That's one. Just need one more. That it? That's it. Nice. And buy that second one. Nice. Oh, yeah. Plenty of chunks. I ain't gonna worry about that. Hell yeah, we can. Oh, shit. It's like a greatsword. It's the exact same moveset as a greatsword. Oh, there we go. Okay, come on. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's not bad. L2. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Much better. RTSR came in clutch. I don't mess with that. Like I said, only for Mytha. Oh. Boom. RTSR once again, unintentional, but it came in clutch. Forlorn. Like, I have a really high feeling forlorn. He always comes. I, I told you. I swear to God. I can just feel it. Like, I can just feel the feeling lurking inside of my intestines, bro. Boom. Get the hell out of here, bro. I'm in, girl. Big boy Velstat. Let's go. All right. Let's see the damage. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's a big chunk. What is he doing? Oh, he's buffing up. I gotta recover. Come on, recover. Hit his ass. Keep on hitting him. Boom. Boom. But it's fine. Almost dead. Nah, I saw that coming too. Boom, bitch. And there it is, King's Ring. Holy fam. And it's funny, it's because the second most voted weapon was the King's Ultra Greatsword. And that has basically the same strategy. All right, I'll go over here, open up the chest. Bling blau. Right bug. Let's wrap this shit up, homie. Come on, get out the way so I can get my damn weapon. That's good damage, though. Oh, of course, he wants to be a cunt. He's gonna drag this on even longer than it should have. Sit still, bro. Thank you. L2, come on. Oh, that's good damage. He did a double Goomba stop. Man, just hit, clip his toenails or some shit, bro. Get rid of this guy. Come on. Finally. Oh, he drops one. Okay. Nice. One of them from there. Now we got nine. What the hell is that? Oh, another one right there. Nice. Now we got ten. Oh, another one right there. Come on. Yeah, he gave me one. Nice. 12. I just need three more, bro. Come on. Oh, wait, no. I can go back and buy some, actually. We're chilling. Yeah. Finally. Talk to him. Give me the damn shit, bro. There it is. Oh, Lord. Look at that beautiful little speck right there, bro. Talk to Mrs. Titties. She's going to start selling more shit because we got the King's Ring. Yeah. Just buy three of those. Head inside the memory. Ancient Dragon Soul. There it is. All right. And unfortunately, I can only get one. If I burn an ascetic back at the bonfire and kill Duke Freya once again, and I come back inside the memory, it will not give me another Ancient Dragon Soul. I can't power stance too unless I go to New Game Plus. But that's going to be a process and a half, so I'm not going to do that. There it is. Curved Dragon Greatsword. The weapon you've all been waiting for. S scaling and dexterity already. Now let's go ahead and take that. Serene Force. 433, 484, 534, 584. Okay. R2. Jeez. Knocks his ass over. Oh, I like that. It's a special attack. What about the running attack? Oh, that's sick. Get out of here, buddy. Curved. Oh, he dropped the Avalon. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, this thing looks cool as hell. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, look at this shit. It has like wings on it. Flex out sentry. Somebody mentioned in the comments that it's actually a turtle or some shit. I don't even know how. Try the R2 attack. Oh, that's actually not bad. All right, what about this R1? Yo, that's actually really good. Holy fam. It's gonna be blessed. Oh my lord, forlorn, really, bro? What if I hit them with a the weapon too? Oh my, that's a lot more damage. 
Holy wait, the R2 is busted. Wait, I'll pick up this antiquated key. All right, open up this door with the antiquated key, head up the elevator. And that bonfire aesthetic I was talking about earlier is that one right there. You can get that one instead of the one after Skeleton Lords. Free up my homie straight. I can buy Sunlight Blade. I'll take that for sure. Velstat Soul for Sacred Oath. Yeah, that's the new build right there. I can farm for more souls later on. So I'll just do that for now. All right, it's been a while since I had Sacred Oath for the last giant. We got the curved Dragon Greatsword plus five, RTSR, uh, Sacred Oath, Sunlight Blade. Come on. Oh my lord. Oh, that was a lot of damage. All right, say less. This weapon lives up to the hype. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Oh, that's preposterous. Double R1. Oh, man, that's a lot of damage in itself. Oh, baby, I like it. Oh, yeah, I'm messing with this. Go ahead and put that uh, Ring of Blades on. 20 more damage, of course. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. And I'll go ahead and pick up the Doll Ember. All right, McDonald's Duff. Bless me up, homie. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 91 more damage. Hell yeah. We'll go ahead and put a boat stone. Oh, the Murakam was blessed. Jesus, it's 118 damage or some shit. That's a lot more damage too. Now, my next objective is obviously kill Ron. Head to the DLC, get the Flynn's Ring. Also get the Lightning Clutch Ring. Both of those on and get a significant amount more damage. This is normal bonfire intensity. So this should be nice. We'll get RTSR or Sunlight Blade, Sacred Oath, and then Bright Bug. Okay, this is going to be crazy. Let's do this shit. Here we go. Oh, Lord. A quarter is HP. Oh my days. Oh my. <laughs> Yo, Rod, I feel so bad. Even when we saved him, we still annihilated him. And he is weaker to lightning, so you best believe that shit's gonna hurt. This thing is like making these guys look like hollows. Look at that. I said they're like undead hollows. Honestly, the look of it is like one of the reasons why it's so satisfying to use. All right, open up this bad boy with the forgotten key that we just got from the giants. And there it is, DLC key. So we'll buy all of these. Once again, the last batch of bright bugs. Let's go, Slumbering Dragon. York Spear, once again, let's go. That shit was beautiful as well. Open up the chest, bling, blow, Flynn's Ring. That's an extra 50 more damage. 776 with Sacred Oath. And we're not done yet. And pick up the Eternal Sanctum key. All right, open up this with the Eternal Sanctum key. More bonfire aesthetics in here, two of them, and lightning cluttering. There it is. And get nine more damage. Hell yeah. Let's get more bright bugs. So there it is. I'll just pick up two more. So burn aesthetic here. I got 10 of them. I got plenty. Let's go, big boy. Back to farming rotten. Yo, one hit does so much damage. It's crazy. Holy fam. Even when I tried farming Ducey Freya, I still have to farm rotten. Oh, one hand's a little longer. That's crazy. I could probably finish him off with an R2. That's busted. Holy, I mean, that thing is time consuming, but it's worth it. Oh, here we go. Oh, there goes your arm. Two hits, man, is a chunk and a half. All right, finish it off. Beautiful. All right, finish it off. And bam. Doing damage like nothing. Like it's nothing. One more R2. The windup is crazy. I love it. Oh, yeah. One more hit. Lovely. Six soul runs. That went by so fast. So I need 54 faith for max duration on Sunlight Blade. All right, that's the new build. 13 vigor, 25 endurance, 45 strength, 50 dexterity, 12 adaptability, and 54 faith. All that is left is the engraved gauntlets, and that's it. Once we get that, we're pretty much done with the build. Let me backstab your ass. Game over. Oh lord, the damage. <laughs> Jabba the Hutt, let's go, big boy. I don't know what you're doing in DS2. Holy fam. All right, R2. Lord have mercy. That's it, easy. You gotta go. All right, buddy, give me the key. Come on. See you later, alligator. And grave gauntlets. Get some potential critical hits, hopefully. All right, big booty mytha. What up, bitch? Oh, nice to see you, too. Let me hit you. Holy fam. All right, let me wrap this up. Look at that ass. And now we can join the covenant. Hell yeah. Would be nice to get the armor set, but that's going to take a while, low key. Is that it? Well, shit, they're not responding anymore. I basically killed them, like, until they despawned. I'm going to rest at the bonfire. And... Yeah, they're not here. They're all gone. And that's how many times I've killed them. And I've only gotten two dragon scales. Yeah. However, I got like 15 petrified dragon bones. Look how many slabs I have. I got like seven or some shit. I don't even know how. Look, I have 16 slabs. In what universe, bro? Two dragon scales. That's how rare of a drop rate they are. Honestly, I wanted to get the armor set. It's not going to happen. Unless I like duplicate the item. All right, buddy. I'm going to start off with an R2. Oh, I like that. Respectable. Jeez, what is that damage? Bro, is this AI broken? No, I don't think so. But <laughs> that was still really good. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he dead. Just like that. Two combos. There it is. Ring of Blaze plus one. An extra 10 more damage. Okay, that's it. Just one attack. I'll give you three in return. Come on. Uh, I didn't do it properly. All right, here we go. Let's just finish him off. Boom, bitch. Oh, I love it. Is old Iron King a dragon? I mean, he has wings. No bright bug, no RTSR. 
Let's see how this does. All right, Chief. Oh, oh pretty good. Three hits. Bright bug would have been two, but that's fine. Oh, give me some counter hits. Give me some critical hits. Oh, he should be dead. Artuni's dead. Oh yeah. Oh, that was a critical too. No. Oh, would have been nice to have earlier. Let's see if we can one shot them with an R2, perhaps, maybe. Oh, we can. Beautiful. A little scoop. That's not gonna work. Oh, I didn't one shot him that time. Two hits. Hell yeah. Oh, the critical too. Bro. Come on. You gotta come sooner. One shot him. Beautiful, bro. No, no, no. Oh man, that would have been nice if it was a one shot. All right, get that bright bug. Beautiful. All right, let's go. R2, come on. Oh, I could do better than that. In the meantime, that's crazy. Here we go. R2. Lord have mercy. That R2 attack is deadly, man. I'm having a lot of fun with that. Aldia, let's go. So actually, I mentioned in like my previous videos that if you go to uh, Dragon Shrine, you know, before Ancient Dragon, before killing the Great Lords, that you can't trigger Aldia. Once you kill all the Great Lords, even after you go to Ancient Dragon, and then you just go back in numerical order where he appears, but this bonfire. Yeah, there he is. It's pretty creepy. You just come here and he's right there. So you can still fight Aldia. I used to think before that if you came here before killing the Great Lords, that you wouldn't be able to fight him, but you can still fight him if you just do it like this. And yeah, so the next one's over here. So if you just go over to this bonfire, yeah, pretty cool, actually. Yeah, well, we just got to kill Vendrick to see him in the throne, and that's it. All right, big boy. Where's, uh, where's, what's her name? Where's the big titty bitch? Oh, let me R2 this shit. Holy fam. I forgot her name. Gwendolyn. Where's she at, bro? Or no, Guinevere, not Gwendolyn. I mean, I'm assuming you're defending her. What up, homie? Almost a one shot. You still want to talk to me? No place for me. No place for you, homie. Go back to the grave. All right, we chilling. Get your ass down here, and it's game over. Hell yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's good. R2. Oh, she moved. It's all good. Go ahead and buff up. Oh, she hung out. Oh, she's dead. She dead. Dude, that was the swiftest fight. Yo, what the hell happened to her corpse? <laughs> God damn, bro. This shit beautiful. Look what I got. Yeah, but it's the first time you've seen that. Mm -hmm. Nobody has this. Yeah, that's right, Ancient Dragon. I'm back here to kill you with your own weapon. I got nothing to say. Come on, buddy. Oh, that's pretty good. So far, so good. Come on. I'm breathing fire already. Real one. R1, R2. Oh, the R2 attack is deadly. Even your own weapon's good against you. Yeah, buddy. Boom. Oh, baby. Hit him on, hit him. Yeah, he's dead. All right, man. I'm sorry to do that. Let's see the damage. Oh, baby. That's nice. R2. Holy fam. One more hit. Bro, that was so fast. Time to put an end to your misery. You have overstayed your welcome in this area. Let's go. Oh, baby. Uh, Yeah, boys. We do some damage. We are doing some damage. Oh, I love that attack so much. Okay, I don't like this positioning right now. But I like that damage, that's for sure. Yo, nice combination. Okay, okay, wrap it up. <laughs> He's gonna kill me, bro. I can't risk that. All right, easy enough. Whenever I do the King's Ultra Great Sword, definitely not gonna be easy then. I'm gonna burn aesthetic here. All right, and pick up another Bright Bug. That was way too close. He did, he did the worst combo, too. Get the hell out of here, homie. Burn another aesthetic. Extra Bright Bug. Won't be moving too much. R2. Oh, Muhammad Ali. Oh, that's much better. That thing is so deadly, bro. Actually crazy. No, 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 no. Do not puke. I'm gonna R2 this shit right away. Oh, he dodged it. Bro, nose. All right, come on. Combo his ass. Oh, baby. Come on. Yeah, all right, just you. What is you doing? What is that? Wrath of Gods? That was a lot of damage, though. I think I've seen him do it before. You was dead, though. All right, Nishandra, bring that ass here. All right, let's go. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, pretty good. Very nice. I'm gonna do R1, R2. Oh, very nice. Just like the lady in DS1 said. Yes, indeed. R2, you dead. Nah, you trying to do Wrath of Gods as well? That ain't gonna fly. All right, and there we go. There's Aldia. Come on, let's go. Kill the damage. Sacred Oath wore off, but it's okay. R2? Hell yeah, brother. Pop that shit again. Finish it off. Come on. Finish it. No. Oh, I still killed him. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die from the uh, fire AoE. He was like 1 HP. Any hit would have killed him for sure. Base game destroyed. I can see why you guys uh, voted for this weapon. It's a lot of fun. It's very satisfying. I don't know why. It's time to figure out how it's going to perform against the big boys in the DLC. First, we'll burn aesthetic here so we can get the Ring of Blaze plus two. Got time. Come on, finish him off. Yeah, buddy. I don't care. Curse me. Curses upon you, as Malin says. Boom, bitch. 
Ring of Blades plus two, beautiful. An extra 11 more damage. Come here, buddy, you sack of shit. Come here. Oh, he's done for. Backstab his ass. Yeah, buddy. Hold it. How are you hitting me while I'm backstabbing? Come on. Oh, he's almost dead. Get his ass. That damn shield. Oh, baby, you alone, homie. You, sir, alone. Yeah, you better just stand still, because you're dead either way. All right, I'll burn this attic here. Two more bright bugs. Knock off Nishandra looking ass. Come on. Show me the damage, not true. Oh, that's pretty good. Go ahead and do your thing. Yeah. R2. Holy fam. Yeah, that's nice. One more hit. Come on. One more hit. Boom. She did the same thing as Nishandra at the last minute. She tried using her AoE attack, just like Nishandra. She is truly knock off Nishandra. All right, I still got my Bright Bug going, so I'm just going to use that instead of my Sacred Oath. I don't want to pop another one for Slumbering Dragon. If I cast Sacred Oath, it's going to take out my Bright Bug. So I'm back to acquire the York Spear. Yer. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is some crazy damage. I bought a yay big R2. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Oh, what you doing? Little side eye. Sacred Oath time. One more attack. Come on. Yeah, man. There we go. Crown of the Sun Ken King. There it is. All right, that's one crown. Oh, go ahead. Do that shit. I don't care. Stop that shit. This guy's going crazy, bro, with the jump back and jump in. Homie, relax. Oh, baby. Don't you dare. No, 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 no. Finish him. Nine after death. Yo, that guy was being a nuisance, bro. Let's go take care of Ivory King. Autobots roll out. Skitty beep pop 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 Boom. There we go. Two shot. Where's he at? Oh, you can't stop him. Once again. R2. Holy fam. That's beautiful. That's lovely. Oh, just keep whacking. Whack them all. Oh, R2, you dead. Oh, he jumped over it. He's smart. There we go. Yo, easy as hell, homie. What the hell? Good shit, my guy. All right, there's a crown of the Ivory King. That's two crowns. All that is left is a Fume Knight DLC. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. I know some R2 attack, fam. Hell yeah. All right, wrap this shit up. Double R1. That's some good damage. Finished off an R2. Oh, you messed up. Yeah, that was pretty fast. Damn. All right. Are we ready for Fume Knight, boys? We've been lacking on the critical hits, honestly. Come on, baby. Oh, critical hit R2. Jeez. Speaking of the devil. Oh, baby, that's some good damage. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. I'm in a little bit of predicament. A bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Holy fam. R2 again, fam. Oh, that's some crazy damage. Bro, HP disappeared. We both missed. Lol. And you dead, homie. <laughs> all right. Crown of the old Iron King. That is all three crowns. All that is left, as you guys know, Sir Alone. Samurai Fighto. Not today, fam. Dragon fight. Good opportunity. Bro, he moves so much. What's our damage, though? That's pretty good. Oh, baby. Just keep hitting him. Me not care, fam. R2, come on. Oh, there we go. It's a big chunk still. Come on, do it again. Oh, the critical. Oh, shit. <laughs> and my weapon's about to break. Yo, what's my durability at? One. <laughs> One durability left. That's crazy. That is the most perfect way to end it. Oh, my Lord. I had repair powders, but that's pretty cool how I didn't have to use any, though. Damn, we got another critical hit R2 on Sir Alone. We got one on Fume Knight and we got one on Sir Alone. Bro, I couldn't have asked for better. Thank you boys for voting for this weapon. I definitely had a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, this thing is honestly top tier. Honestly, the appearance of it is so cool. It's probably one of the best looking weapons in the game. It just does a lot of damage, surprisingly. Like for an example, like the Moonlight Greatsword, that thing's R2 attack doesn't do shit in the DLC. This thing's special attack actually does some respective damage. I'm really glad I did this. Thank you boys once again for voting. I want to thank everyone who also casted a vote on any of the other builds. It just shows that you guys actually want to see these weapons being done. So I'm honestly honored to do them for you. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. And next, I'll either have the King's Ultra Greatsword or the Grand Lance. Let's wrap this up. So we had the Curved Dragon Greatsword. Plus five, of course, the main component of the video. We got a bolt stone infusion on that. Did a lot more damage. Process to getting it was quite long, but it was really well worth it. In the meantime, we used the Murakumo, which did a respective amount of damage in itself. Cleric Sacred Triumph for Sacred Oath and Sunlight Blade, Coin Ring plus one as usual, Flynn's Ring for more damage, Lightning Clutch Ring for more damage, and Ring of Blades plus two for more damage, and Grave Gauntlets, as you just saw, we got some critical hits, well worth it. And then the Crown of the Sun Ken King, that boosts my Dexterity, Strength, Intelligence, Faith, Endurance up by one. As for my stats, there you go, level 214. I'll leave it open for a little bit for you guys to look at if you want. That's basically it. Nothing too crazy. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. Thank you, boys, once again for suggesting this. And once again, I appreciate all the support. Uh, it just means the world to me. Thank you, boys, for always coming back. I love you guys. All right, boys, I'll see you on the next one. All right, take it easy, boys.